My name is Graham Sweeney. I'm from Ackle Sound, uh, Ackle Island, County Mayo. Um, I grew up here, went to school here. I uh, have always loved everything about Ackle and Ackle history and music. The Ackle Sound is a combination or a hybrid of all things musical from Ackle, um, history from Ackle, voices from Ackle, and I suppose uh, what I really love about it is a kind of intergenerational um, community collaboration. That's really what I see. The collection is where the spoken word parts come in. It's Ackle history, it's Ackle stories, it's this and that. But when the music comes in, it's Irish. So some of the pieces that I've composed, um, other pieces are very much Ackle. Um, and then there's some other tunes, say some Turlock O'Carolan tunes that we play uh, that date back to, you know, the 1700s or times like this. But it's, yeah, it's a hybrid of these generations from 16 years old to 85 years old. Well, my name is John McNamara and uh, I, from the village of Duach in Ackle, uh, Duach, which means the sandy plain. Because over at the end of the village there, there's a sandy area and a kind of a field. So it's the sandy plain, Dua Acha. It's, it's seldom pronounced right and, and so on. So that's, that's where I'm from. What's in this book is uh, there are two CDs, uh, CD1 and CD2, and uh, I would have to give credit to Steve Cooney, that famous musician, uh, for putting me on the right track for that, because I was, uh, I already knew the songs, I know loads of songs, I know a hundred songs, I'd say, if I, had, if I had them all down, but it couldn't be all put in this book. But uh, Steve Cooney said to me, I said, how am I going to get this done before I die? And he said, go to a studio and record it. So I went up to Foxford to the, to the Doherty brothers who had a studio in Foxford. So what's in this book then is, well, we had to just have so many, you couldn't have every book, that, every song that's an act in this. So we picked out what would be a representation of the songs of Ackle. The reason I find it very important to preserve the history is because, especially with the elder, gen the older generation now, you're still getting that history firsthand. Whereas it gets diluted then when people start telling stories about their grandparents and they miss out on key moments or features, even the landscape or how they talk about their childhood. Or, it's all different, so it gets diluted and then sadly lost. And especially in this kind of digital world where people have gone so modern, and like it's all about the future and next and now, now, now. But there's so much history here that I know it has been preserved um, and I'm maybe just trying to keep that going in my generation. But yeah, it just feels very important to try and try and hold on to as much of that as possible because it is our culture and we have a lot here as Ackle people. We have a lot of culture and yeah, just with the way the world is going, I feel that that's at risk of being lost very quickly.